Today we want to take a quick look at the pre-tribulation rapture, which brings great encouragement and comfort, because it's God's promise to His church of our blessed hope, that soon appearing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There's a lot of misunderstanding about the rapture of the church, but if we study the scriptures and rightly divide the word of truth, we find that the pre-tribulation rapture is the most dominant position by far. So how do we know the rapture happens before the seven-year tribulation? Well, because the Bible tells us. In Matthew 24, we presented briefly with both the rapture and the second coming of Christ. At the rapture in verse 27, which happens like a sudden flash of lightning, Jesus appears to catch up to suddenly and forcefully remove his church. At his second coming in verses 29 and 30, we don't have a sudden rapture event, but a grand and glorious procession coming from heaven as Jesus returns after the tribulation of those days in power and glory, and all peoples of the earth will see him. I've also highlighted the words coming in these verses, which is actually two different Greek words, because the way Jesus shows up at the rapture versus his second coming are quite different. And in Luke 21, 28, we told that that when the signs of the last days begin, not after they complete it, but when they begin, we are to look up because our rapture redemption draws near. God always confirms his word. And so we see one of the best pre-trib rapture verses in Revelation 3.10. The words for keeping us from the hour of temptation or trial in the original Greek literally says to keep you out of. So not safe during, but kept out of. And by the way, there is no promise from God to keep born again believers safe through the tribulation. The book of Revelation tells us that saints will be killed and many beheaded. We'll see now that the Bible describes the pre-tribulation rapture very differently to the return of Christ after the tribulation. There is no mistaking that these two events are not the same. There are many differences, but I'm going to provide a list of some of the more prominent ones that give a clear distinction. 1. The rapture is sudden and unexpected, not the grand and glorious procession of Christ's return, but a thief in the night event. 2. The day of the Lord does not end with the sudden thief in the night event. It comes or starts with a sudden event. 3. At the rapture, the born-again believers are given new bodies and forced caught up into the air, whereas Christ's second coming return sees Jesus return with his saints as he descends onto the Mount of Olives. 4. When Jesus appears at the rapture, he brings rewards for his saints, but when he returns at his second coming, he brings judgment. 5. We see the church taken and kept out of the tribulation and not mentioned again until Christ's return in Revelation chapter 19 after the tribulation. And six, the three big satanic players, the Antichrist, false prophet and the devil are not mentioned at the rapture, but all three are dealt with at the second coming. Let's quickly look at four undeniable, irrefutable proofs that the rapture of the church is a pre-tribulation rapture. Firstly, when Jesus said no one knows the day, he's not talking about his return at the second coming, because we will know that day. We have a countdown from the midway point of the tribulation to the day. Secondly, when Jesus said the world will be living life, business as usual, buying, selling, building and marrying, he is not talking about the end of the tribulation, as the world then will have been utterly destroyed with billions of people dead. Thirdly, in Revelation 5 verse 9, we see people in heaven clothed in linen, clean and white. These saints from every nation are in heaven before the tribulation starts in chapter 6. And these same saints are still with God in Revelation 19 and then return with Jesus on white horses at his second coming. And lastly, Jesus uses Old Testament examples as a foreshadowing of the end of the world. He says, as in the days of Noah and in the days of Lot, people won't be expecting God's judgment, but God is faithful and delivers his people before judgment. Noah was kept above God's judgment. Lot was taken out before God's judgment. Jesus said in Luke that we are to pray to be counted worthy to escape, not remain and be protected, but to escape all the events of the tribulation that will come to pass. And to the end times church in Revelation 3.10, Jesus says, because you have kept my word patiently, I will keep you out of the hour of trial that is coming upon the whole world. The apostle Paul called the rapture a mystery. And so while we don't know all the details, we do see that the pre-trib rapture is very much presented in scripture. I hope these words have comforted you and encouraged us to keep holding on to our blessed hope because Jesus will rapture his church before the tribulation. And so let's be diligent to love, to forgive, and to do the good works he's ordained for us to do as we remain sober, waiting, and watching for our Lord. Maranatha.